this motherfucker don't miss. No, he's fucking good. That motherfucker don't miss, man. He's good. All right, let's get into it. High protein quesadillas makes fat loss easy. Let's get into it. All right. So this is going to be real time. I'm uh, quickly warming up the tortillas, right? Um, that's going to make them a little bit more pliable and uh, uh, allow the cheese to start melting before we even put it on the uh, on the stove there. So um, I got two tortillas here. I'm going to put them on the foil. Next thing I'm going to do is weigh out the fat-free cheese, okay? Um, you zero it out. You put your cheese on the thing, press uh, reset, and now however much I take out is going to be showing up as a negative on the scale. So watch. I, I mean, I've gotten pretty good at this, so um, I know just about how much we need. So right there, I was looking for 100 grams. That was 97. and then. Um, some people, we do the same thing here. This is pepper jack cheese. Some people, they don't like the texture of a uh, fat free cheese. So I always tell them like, Hey, you can add a little bit of regular cheese. And so we got negative 19. So that's, uh, just about 20 grams. Um, and so I was going, I cut up some, uh, pickled serranos and carrots. This adds a little bit of, uh, heat and flavor enhancement as i like to say to the quesadillas now watch how complicated this is that li by the way that took less than like a minute we fold these bad boys up press them down all right and we take the entire sheet of foil and we put it on that uh that middle section of the range over there and uh that's pretty much it. Like people make this stuff so complicated. Oh, I don't know how to weigh. I don't know how to track. You literally saw, um, like I couldn't even actually, uh, describe it as fast as I was doing it. The, the measuring part of the cheese. And so this is very important to understand because uh, most people think like, you know, Oh, that's so complicated. That's so blah, blah, blah. It's really not. It's really not. You just either A, don't have the skills or the understanding. I mean, you don't know what you don't know. Or you just close off to it. Like, if you can't take those 30 seconds to put your bag of cheese on the scale and just read the number, then, you know, it's maybe this is not for you. You know, <laughs> maybe fat loss is not for you. Um, But that's it. This is it right here. Uh, and so these cheese, these quesadillas, there's other things you can do with this that bump up the protein even more. So like, usually I have a bunch of, uh, uh, chicken or steak that's already cooked and you can add about an ounce of, of, uh, chicken or steak to your quesadillas and boom, you just added about 20 ish grams, uh, 15 ish grams of protein to your quesadillas. Um, and so this is this is a uh, keystone food. Remember, keystone foods are two or three th uh, foods that are going to make your fat loss effortless. And the reason why is because keystone foods, they give you a bulk of your pro protein and they leave you a lot of calories for optionality. That means you got a lot of wiggle room and ability to adapt to whatever is happening in your day, right? Um, and so quick review on what is a keystone food. A keystone food is high in protein. It's high in enjoyment. It's uh, low in calorie density. It's convenient. That means it has to be quick and easy to cook, uh, clean, and prep. And this literally takes, so you saw, like, we're already almost done here. This is just me heating it up so that the the tortilla gets a little bit crispy on the outside. And that's about it. Like, uh, it, it doesn't take very long to be able to do this. Um, the last piece of that keystone, comp of, uh, last component of that keystone food is that it's easy to track. 
for me, that generally means that it's less than five ingredients. And so with this, all I'm tracking is you got your tortilla and you got your cheese. All right. And I'm going to, we'll have the screenshot of what the macros look like and how I tracked it. Uh, uh, and so you could take a look at that, but what this does is so like, for example, you know, these, um, these two, let me just pull this up while we're doing this. Um, these two quesadillas are 492 calories, 42 grams of protein, 14 grams of fat, and 48 grams of carbs. That is a keystone food. And obviously, the, the longest part of this is just me heating it up to my desired uh, uh, preference. And then the only thing really left here is to enjoy it. So now you see like this gives me 42 grams of protein. It's super delicious. I'll, I'll be able to get, uh, and I have a couple other keystone foods throughout my day, but like the keystone foods will give me pretty much all the protein I need. And then I'll be left with about 800 to a thousand calories to do whatever I want with. And so that's the beauty of it. So these things that you crave, you put them into the uh, those rest of those calories. And so um, remember the food, if you remember the food enjoyment matrix, right? The food enjoyment matrix looks at foods through two, two criteria. And one of them is the level of enjoyment. Okay. You see how melty the cheese is right there? It's amazing. Um, so the two, uh, criteria that we look at for the food enjoyment matrix is uh, level of enjoyment, high to low, and then, uh, calorie density, high to low. Okay. And so what we want, you got to have the chiltapin. All right. And so, um, our, our keystone foods are going to fall into quadrant one. And then we have, which is high enjoyment, low calorie density. And then we have our quadrant two foods, which are going to be high enjoyment, high calorie density. So for me, that might be donuts in the morning. And so having your keystone foods allow you to integrate your craving foods or what I call your quadrant two foods effortlessly, and you can have them every single day. 